This conference will now be recorded. Welcome everyone to the SOA Spring Exam Rescheduling Q&A video. I'm Tiffany Tatsumi, Academic Administrator for the Society of Actuaries, filming this video from my home office in Chicago, Illinois. This video is the first part in a series of videos to keep you informed on exam changes and updates during the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope you find it useful and that you check in regularly. If you have any questions you'd like answered, please submit them to candidate at soa.org and we might include your question and answer in a future video. With me today is Jill Carpenter, FSA and General Chairper oh, Education General Chairperson for the SOA Education Committee. Jill, thank you for joining me from Alfred, Maine. You're welcome. I'm happy to answer some, any of the questions that candidates might have about the uh, re, uh, <laughs> postponed exam dates. Great, let's get started. First, let's say I'm a candidate that registered for spring exams. Due to the virus, those exams have been postponed to July. What do I need to do now to take those exams? Well, you're all set. The um, registration will automatically transfer to the July dates and you don't need to do anything further. Great. Now, what dates do I need to know for the rescheduled 2020 spring exams? Well, the, the first key date uh, is if you have not yet registered you'll have one more opportunity to register for these exams. And that window is open from May 19th to the 26th. And then the exam dates will be held in July, as we mentioned. So July 14th is the FSA core exams. July 15th is the FSA advanced exams. July 16th is the ERM exam in the morning and the FSA specialty exam in the afternoon. July 17th, is the LTAM exam. And then on July 21st, EA1 exam is in the morning and EA2L exam is in the afternoon. The uh, grades will be released on September 18th and that will give you time to register for your fall exam where registration closes on September 28th. Now, what if I can't take the exam in July? Can I get a credit or refund? Uh, yes, you have until June 1st to request a uh, credit voucher or um, for future credit to uh, for credit towards a future exam, or you can um, request a refund as well. Um, contact the customer service department at the SOA. Their uh, email is customer service, all one word, at soa.org. Now, will I go to my usual exam center on my new exam date? Um, in a lot of cases, the uh, exam centers will change. The SOA is currently uh, securing locations um, in the same cities and making sure that the candidates won't have to um, travel too, too far a distance to get to their exam center. But um, make sure that you check the education page of the, SO, of the SOA website before you head for your exam. And what special measures will be in place at exam centers considering COVID-19? Uh, what's most important um, in these exam centers is the health and safety of our candidates and the proctors. And so whatever uh, guidelines or procedures or restrictions are in place at that time will definitely be followed, you know, with respect to distancing, with respect to sanitizing. So for example, if the exams were uh, taking place under the current guidelines today, um, the candidates would be seated at least six feet apart and there would be no more than 10 people in each exam room. And what if the stay at home orders in place currently remain in place in July? Um, you know, the July dates were um, established and, and relying on uh, improving conditions and normalizing over the next few weeks and months. So obviously, if conditions don't improve or, or hopefully they don't get worse, um, you know, the, the SOA would have to reconsider other options, postponing or canceling, you know, and, and any information, any decision will be communicated in the middle of, of June. Now, would written answer exams ever be moved to computer-based testing? 
Now that's a, a good question, and that's something the Education Committee has been discussing for for a while now, and it's something that you know we definitely want to move in that direction. And you know, under the current circumstances, uh, there's uh, we're exploring ish, you know options to actually do that for the fall 2020 exams. Um, there's issues that need to be worked through and, and resolved, you know, in order to be um, you know fair to all of the candidates who were you know taking the exams. But you know, as as we have a group working on it, and as we get more information, we'll communicate it. Now, what if I'm not already registered for a spring exam? Is it too late to register for the new exam dates? There's one more opportunity to register for the exams that will be offered in July. Uh, there's a window that will be open from May 19th to the 26th. And where can I find all of this information? Uh, there's information on the um, the SOA website um, on the you know, on the soa.org/covid19 updates. Um, and I'd also just like to take this opportunity to uh, thank all of our candidates for their patience and understanding as we've rescheduled these exams due to the due to the um, the virus. Um, it's uh, you know, we we appreciate that you know that you're um, being patient with us, um, and uh, please stay safe. Do everything you can to uh, remain healthy, and um, best of luck on your exams when you take them in July. And thank you for joining me today, Jill. It was great talking with you. Thank you. And thanks to everyone watching. Uh, this video. As mentioned, please send your questions to candidate at soa.org for inclusion in a future video. Stay healthy. Mm -hmm.